Hello friends, welcome back or to welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to quadratic equations and common roots. If the equations x square plus ax plus b equal to 0 and x square plus cx plus d equal to 0 have a common root and the first equation has equal roots then which of these conditions is correct? If the equations x square plus ax plus b equal to 0 and x square plus cx plus d equal to 0 have a common root and the first equation has equal roots then which of these conditions is satisfied. So to solve this problem first let's take one by one the given quadratic equations. First equation we know is x square plus ax plus b equal to 0. The second one is x square plus cx plus d equal to 0. If they both have a common root, let us say that root is alpha. Now, if alpha is common root, then what we will have? Substituting alpha square plus a alpha plus b equal to 0. We also get alpha square plus c alpha plus d equal to 0. Now subtract these two. What we will get is a alpha minus c alpha plus b minus d equal to 0. Or can we write down alpha into a minus c is equal to d minus b or alpha equal to d minus b divided by a minus c. Now let's go to the other condition what we have been given. We have been given that the first equation has equal roots. What's the meaning of that? The meaning of that is the roots are alpha comma alpha equal roots. So we know sum of zeros or sum of roots is equal to minus of b by a that is here minus a and the product of roots that is alpha into alpha alpha square is equal to c by a which is equal to b here. From these two conditions we can get alpha equal to minus a by 2 that means alpha square equal to a square by 4 but that is equal to b so can we write down a square equal to 4b so we know a square equal to 4b we know alpha equals to minus a by 2 and we also know alpha equal to d minus b by a minus c so we will leverage these three conditions to find out which is the correct option. So let's go ahead and write down alpha which is equal to minus a by 2 and also equal to d by b divided by a minus c. Let us do cross multiplication. We have minus a square plus a c is equal to 2d minus 2b. We know a square is 4b so can we write down minus 4b plus ac equal to 2d minus 2b. Now keep ac on left side move 4b to other side we will have 2b plus 2d or which is equal to 2 into b plus d. So the correct option is option number 2. Let's have a recap of this problem. We have been given that two equations have a common root and also the first equation has equal roots. Two equations has common root that means that root should satisfy both of them. So we got a condition we have taken common root as alpha. We got alpha equal to d minus b by a minus c. We also know that equal roots for the first equation that means alpha plus beta is minus b by a and alpha beta equal to c by a we are talking with respect to ax square plus bx plus c if the roots are or zeros are alpha comma beta 
then alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a comma alpha beta equal to c by a this logic we have used with respect to this and this so when we have same roots alpha plus alpha will be 2 alpha equal to minus a by 1 and alpha into alpha alpha square equal to b by 1 from that we got a square equal to 4 b we also know alpha is minus a by 2 that is also equal to d minus b by a minus c we did cross multiplications we got a c equal to 2 into b plus d